the spookiest night of my life. This shit was really crazy and it was in real time. And this night, I was really, I was really the biggest idiot ever. The really the biggest pussy chaser ever. We were walking back to her hotel. We were on an island. The waves crashing. The wind blowing. Dogs and cats is literally following us. And I'm sitting here spooked out and she can tell that I'm spooked out for real. I know she could feel it. Because I walked this island several times at night too and none of these animals ever follow me nowhere but when I'm with her all of these cats and dogs are following us like a herd like she's a herder or something so fast forward a night before me and my homie we go into this little uh, this little function on the beach that the this girl from South Africa invited us to. I forgot what we was doing. Was we, was we playing ping pong or something? We was doing something. Drinking beer and shit. Having fun. So on the way, we meet this girl. This girl from California. And she just got this vibe to her. Like she just free spirit. So we invited her to the function. She says no at first, but eventually she shows up. And me and her start talking and shit. We start talking about spirituality and about life. Now, I had the baseline spirituality at this point, but my actual spiritual awakening really didn't happen yet. I was just somebody who believed in spirituality, but I wasn't really deep into the shit yet. But after this girl after dating her helped my mind up to so much because long story short short in a conversation she just slid in throughout the sentence like yeah and i'm very much a witch but i'm a good witch and she just kept conversating and i'm in my head i'm just thinking like what she said she a witch but she looked good though, bro. So I'm just sitting there. I'm a good listener too. I like listening to people. People are interesting to me. So I like getting to know people and listening to them. So I'm just listening to her talk. She is saying a lot of crazy shit. And um, yeah, bro. After that night, I hesitated to get her number. Because I really was questioning it. But she initiated the number shit. So... I didn't go home with her that night. That night I went to bed. I had to think the shit over, bro. <laughs> to be honest with you, bro, I had to think the shit over. So, the next day she told me she's leaving the island. She want to see me. She had went on this little tour or something, this little island tour to see the monkeys and shit. And I forgot what I had did throughout the day that day. But... No, for a whole hour, I wrestled on the decision to go and see her. There was two selves speaking to me. One self was my lower self. Saying, bruh, she looked good, bruh. You attracted to her. She wants you, bruh. You know that the pussy gonna be good, bruh. Just... By how crazy she talking, bro. Like, bro, just go and get the pussy, bro. Just go and clap the cheeks, bro. You know you're going to do it. And then my gut, my higher self, my gut instinct kept telling me, bro, no, you do not need to get into that shit. How is this shit going to help you? Do not get involved with this shit. This shit is not going to turn out good. And I wrestled with it for about an hour. And eventually, I came to the decision 
that I just wanted the pussy, bro. So I went to the beach, you know, met up with her. She had some of her new friends from the tour. They were all in a circle and shit. Some of them were smoking weed. I had quit weed at the time. That's one of the reasons why I went to Thailand. But um, And weed wasn't legal there at that time, so... Yeah, I had quit, and I wasn't doing nothing. I was just sitting, chilling. And there was this one dude, like, he was trying to fuck with her, but she wasn't fucking with him. It was funny. He knew she was fucking with me. So he was jealous and shit. He like, nigga, what you, you ain't got to do shit, nigga. But this uh, European dude, and he was a clown, but... Long story short, we end up walking back to her hotel... And like I told you earlier, the dogs and cats was following us. The waves was crashing on the rocks by the shore that we were walking by. Goddamn, the wind was blowing. Like, the shit was crazy. Like, I was just spooked out, bro. Like, I thought when she said she was a witch, I thought she was just crazy, bro. I thought, you know, she was just different. But this shit, like, I really started to believe, like, bruh, is this girl really a witch, bruh? Like, I've walked this shit multiple times, and no animals, no cats and dogs have followed me. But now we got two dogs and three cats following us simultaneously in a herd. And she tells them to go away a little later, and they go away. So, this shit is really crazy, bro. Y'all gotta think I'm crazy. I just gotta let y'all know, this shit is the truth, bro. So, you know, of course we end up having sex that night and shit. We end up dating for a little bit and we go our separate ways, but we meet back up and it's like this little fairy tale love story shit. But then shit start going south, obviously. And it left me depressed as hell because she was depressed. And she took my energy, bro. Like, she was depressed. Like, her, she had to escape to Southeast Asia because she had just got out of a bad, abusive relationship mentally, physically. And she had a lot of problems she was dealing with. She was depressed and she. Basically, just put that shit all on me and then goddamn took my energy and ran off with the shit. And, um. Yeah, bro. I tell y'all this story to let y'all know to listen to that gut feeling. That gut feeling that you have, that voice that's telling you what's good and bad for you. You have to learn to discern that because, like, if I would have listened to my gut feeling, then I wouldn't have went through all the trouble. Now, I'm thankful for all the shit that I've been through because it's a learning lesson. I grew so much from that experience. That shit opened up my eyes because I got more stories about her. That's kind of spooky, but I'm going to keep that under wraps for now. And just opened up my eyes to supernatural shit bro I ain't gonna cap to you before I didn't believe that shit but after her and after Thailand yeah I believe that shit but, but trust your gut bro your gut instinct don't trust your dick your dick your lower self will get you in trouble it will put you in situations that you did not need to be in. You will do things that you never needed to do. And it just looks stupid in hindsight. And you know it's stupid in a moment. I knew it was stupid. Like, bro, why am I going to see this girl that I know she crazy? I know that, you know, she acting like she's this goody two shoes on the outside but I already know bro like 
she got some problems. And it's not just that she said she's a witch. It's just a lot of other shit that I didn't mention, but... Listen to your gut. You have to. Listen. Your gut knows. Your gut has a feeling about certain people. There's certain people that you just get a bad vibe from. Even if you may be attracted to them. You may be attracted to somebody. But that doesn't mean that you need to go through with it. There's plenty of girls that throw some my way. And I go and look in hindsight. I'm like, bro, I've been through this shit before, bro. I already know what this shit is going to lead to. I already know what type of girl this is. I already know what type of energy she got attached to her. I already know the type of hell I'm about to go through just to get some pussy. And it's not worth it. Just to get some random pussy. Now, I listen to my gut now. I don't listen to my dick. If I listen to my dick, then I would just be out here going crazy. And I'll be out here lost. I'll be out here in my vice mode. Vice, vice. I'll just be out here vice mode. Giving in to my lower self. Clapping cheeks of girls that have I have no business clapping their cheeks just because they look good to me, just because I'm I want some pussy, just because I'm sexually charged. And then what's that gonna lead to? That's gonna lead to another vice. It's gonna lead to me getting into another vice. Could lead to a baby with a girl that I don't want. Could lead to a STD. Vices Then you depressed You got a STD So now you gonna go drink Or you gonna go smoke Now you drinking and smoking Now you need something else To get you higher So listen to your gut bro Your gut knows Your intuition knows bro You gotta tap into that If y'all want me to make a whole video On tapping into your intuition I will Just let me know in the comments Comment down below But Listen to that voice, that voice of God telling you what's good for you and what's not. You know, you know what you need to be doing. But you ignore that shit. You ignore that shit. And you give in to your lower self. And I did that that day. And that changed my whole trajectory. Now, looking back, it was actually good for me that I learned those lessons. I learned so much from that relationship. I learned so much from that depression. And I was able to release that energy off of me that weighed me down. All of that bad energy. And I was able to soar after that. That's all... I want to let y'all know. I'm trying to ingrain in y'all subconscious mind for real. Listen to your gut. That's the last time I'm going to say it. On this video, Zen Hustler. No slave. Stay unchained. I'm out this bitch.